crazy, I know, guys, but it is time for another Copart walk around. And that is your Mamba Cold Start. Are just getting back here and again major thanks to our people out here uh, at Copart for uh, for letting us come out here to do this man uh, a lot of places you've seen or a lot of a lot of uh, different creators that you've seen that that do stuff at Copart I, I know my uh, I know my dude Randy's hurting right now you know they've uh, you know shut down uh, the ability to do walk arounds out there and uh we're out here today for two reasons i gotta come out here to actually watch the vehicle i gotta you know sign the paperwork for the vehicle and give them this cashier's check and uh i got a transporter aka a tow truck coming out here to tow one of the copart wins what's crazy is we won three cars this week uh two of them were denied uh that it's just like sellers right now whether it's an insurance company or something else are just being absolutely friggin ridiculous with what they think they're going to be able to get for cars right now i mean it's it's absolutely ridiculous so you can see here it's super busy out here today super busy out here today you see all these different people here this is crazy they got a ton they got a bunch of people and they're making it because they're not letting people into the lobby like that they're only letting people come in like one at a time it's uh it's crazy i mean but they got to adjust to they have to adjust to what what the situation is you know and the situation right now is unfortunately it's uh nine levels of effed up but i'm gonna go back there and get that handicap spot people ask why i park in the handicap spot i actually have a handicap placard one um, I am, I do have a disability and two, uh, sometimes there's just no other damn spots to park in, but usually if there's other spots, I won't park in handicap, but like in this situation, I kind of don't have a choice. So, all right guys. So they've changed things up a little bit. Let me show you guys our win. You may have saw this in another video. Uh, but I'm a little aggravated because now I have to have a locksmith come out here. Remember, we started this. This uh, Jeep Commander went super cheap, 1200 bucks. Uh, with taxes and fees and everything out the door, I'm at 1600 bucks on this Jeep. No leaks, no issues with fluid or anything of that nature. The only issue that we're having is that there are no keys now this thing had keys uh earlier and i'm a little aggravated about it because it is listed as a run and drive but all of a sudden the keys are missing so i'm still waiting on a tow truck i may have to just go to the dealer and get keys we will see what happens anyways guys there she is this uh jeep commander went super cheap 1200 bucks uh, with taxes and fees and everything out the door, I'm at 1600 bucks on this Jeep. No leaks, no issues with fluid or anything of that nature. The only issue that we're having is that there are no keys. Now, this thing had keys uh, earlier, and I'm a little aggravated about it because it is listed as a run and drive, but all of a sudden, the keys are missing. So... I'm still waiting on a tow truck. I may have to just go to the dealer and get keys. We will see what happens. Anyways, guys, there she is. Believe it or not, guys, we are back with another Copart walk around. Again, major shout out to my people out of Copart for, uh, you know, giving us the courtesy to come out here. Now, currently some yards are completely closed, especially if you're in those states that have issued uh, orders basically saying that they got you know no movement they haven't done that here yet 
in the event they do, I will also no longer be able to come out here and show you guys all this cool buttery stuff. Now, I'm out here today because we were picking up our Jeep uh, Commander win that we got earlier this week. If you guys have been watching the videos, you may have seen that. And you guys will be seeing more of that here coming soon. And now we are, it's funny. So I'm trying to see if it's still here. So it is. So I've been on this BMW. This has been happening quite frequently now with Copart and it's maddening. When I mean by it's maddening, I mean it drives me crazy. Uh, and I will set my external mic and stuff up here in a minute, guys. I just got to get sit situated. This BMW, you guys may have seen here recently in another video. I love this car. I was bidding on it. I was the high bidder at 675. It said I won the car. I got the one notification. And if you've seen the video, I might have even done the, I recorded that too. So you may have even seen the video where it says we won this car. And then all of the sudden, all of the sudden, it disappeared. It disappeared from my win list. It disappeared from my bidding list. And I don't know what the hell's going on with it. And now it doesn't even show up. It doesn't show up and Copart said that it's a system error. They're gonna try to get it fixed. And hopefully, 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 they will still give me this car for what I want it for at bid. It was a pure sale. I believe it was a pure sale and it was good to go, man. Just a quick refresh, you can see it here. Like the interior was really clean. This is a 96, take this, take this, you know, think about this, a 1996, yes, the seats are gonna have some cracking and stuff, but it's not bad, you know what I'm saying? And that cell phone right there, it's original and it works. It's crazy. Now I'm sure it's analog. I don't think any carriers are still doing that, but it was just cool as hell to see all of this stuff in here. Look, it even has the foot rests. You see the foot rest over there? Like, this is the thing that was driving me nuts. And it's crazy. This is almost like, I don't know what this is right here. Post must be covered when stand. There was a stand of some type here. I don't know what was connected to that, but that was different. Like... I mean, I don't know, man. I hope. Does it have soft closed doors? It does. Look, man. I hope. I sincerely hope that this gets worked out because this car right here really, really made me happy, man. This is the one I wanted to win. And I thought we had it, man. I thought for sure we had it, you know? Look at this. Bet you didn't know about that. Look at this. Power seats in the rear. Are you kidding me? Look, you can even see the cables down there. But look, look at it. They got a footrest right here. Both of them. They got both of them. Look, they got both of them. Like, you just don't see cars like this in this condition from this year. Yes, I know. It's going to need some paint work. There's some rust here behind that. But that's metal. I thought that was all Bondo. It's not. It's just the paint and the primer cracked. You see that? That's metal under there. I don't know, man. What? Hopefully Copart works that out and we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to show it to you uh, while we were here. We're here picking up that uh, Jeep Commander and I was trying to get them to give me this too, but I guess I have to come back for it. What is up guys? Welcome on in to another Copart walk around. Today uh, we are picking up a vehicle, which we were already doing now. And I was trying to get another one sorted out that we won that got lost. But anyways, I figured while we're here and why we haven't been issued a shelter in place order yet i might as get it i might as well get in as much copart content or as much video as i can from the yard as i absolutely can so hopefully you enjoy this video and if you do make sure to give it a big thumbs up and uh let's go through all right guys if you remember when we came out here last week um you know, we were, what was it, Monday? Monday, I believe. I looked at this before the auction on Tuesday, and um, this thing went for a bunch of money, 
somebody hasn't come and paid it so it's going back on the block again this week and i was interested in it i saw it on the way out and i was like hmm we'll have to take a look at it i'm not going to go back over it if you want to see it there's actually a full video on it this is a very nice truck i think it's a 19 right no i'm sorry it's a 17 2017 chevy silverado and it's in really nice shape it looks really good and uh yeah oh what is this some kind of lighting system so i am definitely interested in this truck and we will have to see where uh where what it goes for we have to see what it goes for and what it does but yeah highly highly interested in this one it looks really good i like the uh star lord sticker on the back there didn't see that last time and we're right next to some toasty carnage look at that all right guys let's keep it moving and i'm actually going to get to things i want to see on my list for next week i'm trying to get ahead and i want to see these vehicles because i have a i have a bad feeling that they're going to end up closing the yards i hope they don't but i have a bad feeling if i've seen what they've done at other places that they will here's that carnage again from last week as well the truck that's bent in half all right i gotta go around this crap all right let's go check out what's on my list all right guys today's videos this week is going to be a little different i actually brought the dslr out as well as the iphone as opposed to the gopro uh, or the Galaxy. If you like the video quality this week or in this video more than previous ones, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know your opinion. Uh, I don't know if the DSLR is going to be as stable as the uh, uh, GoPro, but we'll see. Anyways, first on my list this week is this 2013 Dodge Ram 1500 with the 5.7 liter in it. I see it's got some parts from Alexis F, Alexis something that it hit. Uh, look at, okay, I see. Let's see what they got on the back window. All right. But um, Big Horn Edition. I don't know why this is here. I'm guessing it's got to have some kind of, some kind of damage, mechanical damage maybe. I see it's got one of these frame wreckers on the front. I'm, th I'm thinking about putting one of these on the Black Mamba. If you guys would like to see one of those, let me know in the comments below. All right, I don't know what it's here for. It's got 70,000 miles on it, too. It's not, it doesn't have a ton of miles. It's got a nice big display. The interior looks nice. She's got power. 70,553 is the correct mileage. Let's look and see if she starts, shall we? Turns on, she's got gas. It says range zero, huh? 57 miles of range, okay. Hey, she fired right up. I wonder why this is here. Woo, smell that fuel, boy. Oh, I can smell that. Damn. Damn it, man. <laughs> Damn it, Will Robinson. All right, let me climb my ass up here. Let's actually take a look at the truck. I wonder why this one's here. Because now I'm like, this one right here has got me stumped. All right. Ugh. Moving on up. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm glad I didn't put a six inch lift on the Tahoe. Okay, this does, it's got a tire pressure issue. We do have a check engine light. The steering wheel feels okay these big ass tires on it so there's the check engine light everything else in here looks good um, let's see if she goes into gear she's got brakes yeah okay it goes into reverse goes into drive okay I don't know what that was I just heard I don't know what, uh, it says phone. I don't know what, um, what reason this is here for. I'm a little confused as to why this is here. I don't see any damage. It is from, it is here by USAA. So I guess I'm going to have to check it out. There's nothing in the listing that says why it's here. But then again, they do update listings in case you didn't know. You know, after the fact, a listing can... Oh, there's a bunch of fuses down there. That's not That's not good. Maybe it's having electrical problems? Nothing 
glove box, owner's manual. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's pop the hood and take a look at the motor. She's not running hot. Battery's high. Oil pressure's good. I don't know, man. Let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at this motor because I'm wondering why it's here now too. All right, guys. I can't figure it out. The engine looks good. Everything seems to be working properly. The AC's cutting on and off. If you heard that compressor click, I legit don't know why it's here, but it's definitely going to be on my watch list. You can bet that. So there is that. Huh. All right. Let me know. You guys guess in the comments. Or, well, we'll be live on a premiere when this goes live. You guess, and I'll let you know if you're right in the comment section down below. Why do you think this is here? It goes into gear, brakes work, everything works. It does have a check engine light. I'll have to figure out what that's about. I don't have a scanner with me. But let me know. What do you guys think? Why is this big beast of a mammoth here for the super low? And I mean the super low. I bet you, I can't wait, man. I'm going to have to, this might be the one I push on. Man, I'm buying a lot of Dodge stuff all of a sudden. This might be the one, man. All right, guys. Let me know. Why is it here? All right. Next, we have a little bit of carnage for y'all. For you carnage savages. Damn, look at this right here, man. Ouch. That's some real big savagery going on right here. Let me tell you. It's huge, huge carnage. I, I already know the comments are going to be like, man, TK, that's, that's messed up, man. That's messed up, TK. Look at that right there. Uh, uh. All right, guys. I guess you guys can see the next item on my list. It is this big, giant Ford King Ranch F-350. Now... I was wondering why this was here. I didn't see the door had this kind of gap. You can actually see into the cab. When I looked on the pictures, I just thought it was just regular door damage, but it could just be a door. Okay, so door. Oof, God, that truck bed smells like, oh, back window. Okay, oof. Oof, God, breathe, fresh air. Ooh, look at that toasty Impala, toasty. All right. This side looks good. Looks good, doesn't look horrible. Definitely could be, could use, definitely could be used. It's got the plug in, you know what that means. It also didn't tell me online if this was a V10 or if it was a diesel. So this tells me it is a diesel, power stroke. I wonder what model. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a flood car. This thing was underwater. Well, see, Sometimes when you get here early and you think you're getting a deal because you see something early, you're getting to it before anybody else, it's not really a deal. Look at the seats. You can see the soot and stuff. The water stuff was all the way up here. Look, it's all the way on the head. This whole thing was submerged underwater. Wow. Wow. Of course, there's no power. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> Mm, breathe. Whew, I'm trying to do better. I got Vicks on my nose today, guys. Oh, yeah. The key's even rusted. Oh, wow. Look, you can see the water damage up in the glove box. Let me zoom in for that. See that? Where the paper just got all wet and it's all whatever. This thing was completely submerged. Completely submerged. Wow. That's crazy. Whew. The Vicks is helping, guys. But I'm still smelling a little bit of a dussy here or there. Whew. I bet you the motor's done. I bet it's done. I'll take a look, though. You never know. You never know. Oh, wow. It doesn't even want to... Hold on. Hold on, guys. i got to put you all down for a second. Well, I don't have any PB Blaster, and unfortunately... The hood release is rusted shut. So that tells me, hell no, that motor's probably shot because everything else is probably rusted in there. Wow, I wonder how long it was underwater for. Crazy, man. 
Hey, look, it's a Liberty Mutual car. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Ugh. All right, guys, so that means we are on to the next one. Let's go. Which brings us to this 2009 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, I've been watching this one for a minute. This one has gone up for auction, not once, not twice, but three separate times, and nobody's picked it up. I'm not really a fan of these, but now that I've seen it go so many damn times, and, you know, I already got the Jeep Commander, and I don't know what motor this has, but we're going to find out. Um, I'm interested now. Now I'm like, why, why is nobody picking this thing up? The interior is really nice. Okay, we got the ding, ding, ding from the thing. The key is little rack. Oh, wow, look at the key. The key is all kinds of effed up. Maybe that's why they can't start it. Yeah. That don't look good. All you had to do was put it in the other way. So maybe they couldn't get the key to work? Oh, well, she fired up. No check engine lights. Why are, people, why are people not picking this up? Why is this passing all the time? Oh, it's got Boston Acoustics. I'm in love. It's got Boston Acoustics on deck. I love it. Okay, I see check TPMS system. This has the same setup as I have in the Aspen. Does it go into gear? Goes into gear. Sounds good, too. Reverse. Back camera, everything works. So maybe it's just the key. People didn't know. I need to put the key back the other way. <laughs> maybe they didn't know. Maybe they just didn't get it. They didn't mess with it because they... Uh, you know, nobody bought it because they thought the key was uh, effed. You know, because you can, you can once you take it, once you look at it, once you take it off Coparts property, you're stuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But if it's not as described, this thing was listed as a run and drive. If you're not able to start it, then you could be like, nah, I'm good. I don't even think this is four-wheel drive. It's not. Okay. I wonder what the engine is. Let's take a look at it. Oh, the body on this thing looks really good, though. I think I've been around this one from the rear, too. This one... Yeah. It says 4x4. Four four. Let me find out. So I'm going to put a 4x4 four four badge on this. Unless it's all-time four-wheel drive. I don't see a four-wheel drive uh, knob. Do you guys see one? I sure as hell don't. Is It, it must be all-time four-wheel drive because I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Alright, let's take a look at this motor. Because now I'm in, now I'm interested. Now I bet you, you know, they probably had this thing listed as run and drive. Oh no! Doo, 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 doo. I'm gonna have to pass. It's got the 3.7, and I know some of y'all are gonna say, oh the 3.7 isn't bad, she quake, CK, quit hating. I'm sorry, but the 3.7 is hot garbage. I've had multiple friends that have had Jeep Commanders, Jeep Liberties. Um, what else had the 3.7 in it? I think it's Durango too, right? And they suck. I'm going to leave the key in there. I hope somebody else is able to start it. 162,000 miles. Someone's probably already done the head gasket on this one. Because that's a lot of miles for a 3.7. And I know some Mopar person to come in and be like, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, TK. The 3.7 is a great motor. Just like the people that came in and said that the 4.7 was a great motor. I'm not saying the 4.7 is not horrible. It's still a V8, right? V8s are always good. But man, don't tell me that a 3.7 V6 piece of shit motor is good. Trash. That's just my opinion. I just see, you see more of these broke the hell down and destroyed than anything else. It's a pretty Jeep. If I was in the business of flipping every car um, I get my hands on, it might be something that I would invest time in, but this is just not my scene. Plus those blue blue tinted headlights, those are going to be a problem out here. They don't play that. Oh well, on to the next one. Which takes me to my next item on my list. I'm pissed off about that Cadillac from last week too. I'm really mad about that. 
117,000 miles. This is, it is, this is the run, the 11, 2011 Mercedes E350 in black. Now you can see all of the glass in that seat over there. It's got a busted windshield, meaning something probably came through it. It could be vandalism. It does have rims on it. What are these rims? Van, Vantagard? Okay, whatever. Doesn't look too horrible. Somebody tried to debadge it. Somebody literally tried to debadge it. All right. Now, this is stuff from the trunk, trunk liners and whatnot. Everything's open in here. I wonder why this one's here. This is not listed as a flood car. It's just listed as a total loss with no other information. Man, I don't want to get in here with this glass, though. I don't see. Oh, it's got lights. Let's see if it starts. Damn it. Watch me get in here. I'm going to be breathing glass in and shit. Oh, wow. About to drop the camera. Sorry, guys. Hey, she didn't want to start, but then she did. Service exceeded by 10,900 miles. You know what that tells me? Woo! The rims tell me a lot. They're probably some cheap aftermarket rims. They look good, but, you know, I don't really see any smoke out of the exhaust, so that's a good thing. I don't know. I'll scan it. I'll put it on my watch list because this might be a good little steal. You know. God, she smells like fuel. This is this is the hardest fuel smelling car I've seen. This thing reeks of gas. Hmm. There's no real body damage. It looks like it's all just window, man. Unless the pillar got damaged, which I don't see. And the window itself is still here except for right there. It's like something went through that windshield right there you guys can see it it's kind of crazy man well huh now this is not something you guys the ones that i'm definitely interested in guys i open the hood i check the motor this is just kind of like a bonus car i just wanted to look at it for s's and giggles you know all right there's that. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I bid on this E-Class or no? Man, whoever was driving that F-150 had a bad day. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Is it what I think it is? It is. It's a 75 Porsche. Oh, wow. Look at that. A 1.8 liter with a quad tip. Look at this old Porsche. A 914, huh? With 88,800 miles. Look at this old Porsche, man. Got a little bit of rust right there. Just a little bit of rust. This one right here, man. Oh, with the pop-up lights. This thing, this thing could be a hell of a re restoration project. Oh, we have, we have to look at this one. We just have to look at this. This this right here is uh this right here is amazing, guys. I am interested. I am beyond interested. I might I might throw a ton of money at this. And I know it doesn't run. I'm fairly confident that it doesn't run, but I want to take a look at it. Let's take a let's get my big ass down here into the interior. And see, man, look at look at how pretty it is, man. A 75, huh? That was just a twinkle in my daddy's nutsack back then. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead, Jim. I like that aftermarket radio over there. So they got speakers and stuff built in. Custom system, I like that. Look at this defrost. On, oh, look at the gear shifter, the old school five-speed manual. Oh, it's all there too. And and the mileage says 88,800, but pff, man, come on, son. We know that it's probably higher than that. I know that more than likely this is probably 188,000. It could be 88,000. It's a possibility. 
it might not be all the way up there you know we'll have to look and see but this is cool man to see an old porsche like this and yeah the dash is cracked but it's not really bad in here look at this man this thing is in really good condition man for the year and it's a convertible man i am just and it's got like the look at this man look at this key Oh man, this right here. Oh, that's the heater, heat button. It looks like coils. I'm like, is that a glow plug? Is this a diesel? Like, what is, what is going on? All right, let's see if we can look at the motor. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the trunk first. I got an extra tail light back here, a wiper, a jack, easy access to the shocks. We have a battery, and this is why the car does not have any power. The battery's disconnected. So let's take a look at it and see if it works. He said, let there be life. Let's see if it actually fires up, I doubt it. She's probably super dead, but I'll take a look at it. Yeah, battery's dead. All right. Well, let's see if I can get that hood to open. Are you serious, it takes a key? I've never seen that before. You're kidding me. Okay. Maybe we don't get to see the motor. That sucks. Let's take a look at it though, we'll see. Oh, let me unplug this because it wasn't plugged in when I came here. I wanna leave it like it was. There we go. That doesn't line up good. That's not good. Okay, that might be part of the problem. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. I can't get the trunk to close now. Maybe I'm a dumbass. All right. Let's look at the motor and see if I can get this to lift. Probably not, but I'll try. Nope. And there is literally a lock. A lock on that, but here you have it, guys. This is interesting to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll probably drop this over on Instagram for y'all so you guys can see it. I'm interested in it for sure. We are back at it, and we are going to look at the next item. The next vehicle on my list is a Chevy Trailblazer, damn it. I'm interested. It's got aftermarket headlights. Cool. Looks like it's got some kind of body damage. I see this headlight's pushed in, right? This fender's bowed out. These tires are almost bald. It looked better in the photos, to be honest. Oh, man. Super dark tint. Oh, well. Airbag has been busted, but somebody said F it and just <laughs> duct taped it. <laughs> got tampons over there on the floor. Oh, man, this thing is a Crown Royal bag right there. Look at all those trees. All right. Yeah, I didn't think so. She's dead, Jim. I'm not even, I don't even know if I'm going to waste any time on this one. I'm looking for another Envoy or a trip. Oh, wow, the door. Look at the door. It doesn't want to open. This thing's got some significant damage then along the body lines, I'm guessing. Shit. Well, I guess that's it for this one. I'm not going to waste any time on it, guys. I'm just not, you know? It just doesn't make any sense to do it, man. I'm, oh, yeah, look at that. I mean, this is all replaceable. That core support and stuff is all replaceable, but... This is a $1,000 truck at best now anyway, you know? All right, on to the next one, which happens to be right next door. Next on my list is a Denali, a 2014 GMC Sierra. Now, this one is interesting to me. Um, it's A lot of the front end has been taken apart. The frame rails are straight, right? No damage here, which is positive, right? Um, the fender is completely removed over here. The coolant box is just hanging. There's nothing bolting to it because there should be 
like a piece over here, right? And that's totally gone. You can see where they unbolted everything, but it's all still screwed together. You can see where they started to do some body work to it. You know, they primed it, they already filled this. So this thing's almost ready for paint. Look at that. It's still taped off on the door. Same thing back here. The tail lights are out. The bumper and stuff is removed back here in the rear for this Denali. And then in the back, which kind of sucks because all the panels and stuff are soaking wet and nasty. Um, look, you got the rim in here. The rim is fine um, with a tire on it that is destroyed. If you guys can see that. Um, all the trim is in here. The drive shaft, everything is here. But this thing was listed as a start, but not a drive. Wow, look at that carnage. Woo! We interrupt your local, your, your regular viewing of a vehicle to look at smashed. Damn. All right. So let's look at the interior. 103,000 miles on this. Oh, yeah. Airbags deployed in here. There's all your taillights and stuff. There's your mirror. Not bad. The leather seats in here and stuff look good. She doesn't smell like Bidusi. See? Vehicles like this could be a steal. Because I get it. The insurance company was like, we're already too much money into this thing. Let's get rid of it. The only thing that scares me about this is you can bid on this and win. Yeah, broken taillight. See that? You could bid on this and win, and the insurance company could go tell you to eat all the dicks. They'd just be like, you're not getting it. We're not giving it to you. You know, we want X amount of money because this is how much money we have into it. What do you think? Think she starts? I don't think so. Yeah, no. The battery is hooked up. It's just dead. I don't know, man. It's listed as a start. Like, I get this. I, and again, someone's going to say, oh, you're doing it wrong, TK. You can't do that. It's illegal. You can't do that with a vehicle. If it's my personal vehicle, I don't care about airbags. Like, these curtain airbags, I would legit rip these out, put my interior back together, and not care about the curtain airbags. That's just me. I'm not selling this truck. Because I know someone's going to man, look, he said he'd just take the airbags out. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, this is what these trolls do while they're over there puffing on Peters. While they're puffing on Peters and commenting on videos that they ain't got the balls to do themselves. They'll be like, man, man, did you hear TK? He said, he just take the airbags out, man. he just take them out, man. That, that's illegal. Man, go eat a dick. Nobody cares. It's mine. It's whatever I want to do with it. I'm not selling it to somebody. I'm not a dealer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If anything, if you really don't like me, you should be excited that I have a vehicle with no airbags. I hope I crash it. I mean, damn. Damn, Miss Tahoe. Woo! Whoa, whoa! See, I'm over here messing with the trolls. They say don't feed the trolls, and I about busted my ass. This X6 sold this week for like 12 grand, man. 12,000 bucks this thing went for. It does not run and drive, if you guys remember this one. And it's still here. Uh, two weeks in a row that it sold. So that tells me the insurance company that's selling it, which is uh, USAA, they want more for it than they think than it's worth. So, all right, let's get on to the next one. All right, you Mopods, Mopa. Look at that. I went right Boston on you. I said Mopa. Sorry. I didn't mean to get into my mock, but uh, all right, Mopar squad. This is a Dodge Charger with the Hemi. It's not a 392, I don't believe. It's nothing special, but there is one special thing about it. I was looking at this thing, because it was on the list, and I was like, this thing is probably cool, right? Wonder how bad it is. Look at all this back here. The entire back, now this part is good, but the bumper's all torn up. You can see it here. Hold on, we're not there yet. You can see where they cut away the, look, they cut away the body. Someone's already done the work for you. They cut away the whole rear quarter, right? And then it says right here, fuel tank is leaking. No smoking around vehicle. Do not attempt to start. Not unless you want to blow up. So they have cut the cables to the battery to make sure that somebody doesn't come out here and start it. But there you go, Mopar fam. Yeah, y'all Mopar, Mopar guys, the Mopar family that be on me and tell me I don't look at enough Dodge stuff. I've looked at a lot of Dodge stuff today, and I even bought something from Dodge that we picked up today. So, uh yeah there you have it anywho's let me know what you guys think if i should look at more chargers or challengers or if you want me to go 
specifically travel to see Hellcats and stuff. Maybe I'll do it for y'all. Maybe I'll do an all Mopar video. If that's what the Mopar family wants, let me know in the comments and we'll consider it. Chevy Tahoe squad or the, uh, yeah, the Chevy squad. This is a prime example. This is one, if you see one of these stickers or something like this on your vehicle that you're looking at bidding on, that is an Uber placard. Uber drivers have to have this to be able to drive in this state. If you see one of those, run. Don't run. Like, jump out the window with a parachute. Haul ass. Do not. Look at that door. Coming off the hinges. Do not ever, ever, ever buy a used Uber vehicle. I mean, some people would say, well, you can't buy a cab. Well, that's true, but at least they take care of them. And, so, you know, I put it like this. Some cab companies take care of their cabs. This one is uh, smashed. I, I haven't been to the other side yet. We're going to look at it. And then we'll get to the last one of our for the day. Look, they got two, two Uber vehicles. One Uber vehicle there, two Uber vehicles. Two, two Uber vehicles. <laughs> I'm stop. Oh, somebody hit them in the door. You know, and someone will say, oh, it could be a good vehicle. It could be a vehicle, good vehicle, TK. Nah, I doubt it. Yeah, she's dead as a doornail, too. Look, well, you got the aux cord there. You know, typical Uber vehicle, man. Oh, wow. That didn't even want to open. You know, at least it, at least it doesn't smell like Bedussi. Oh, look. Look at, the, look at the door gap, though. The metal is on metal. It's been pushed back. Like this one here. Headache and pain relief. I bet you needed that driving for Uber. What is this right here? Little bag. Let's see if it's got power if I hit the lock button. Nope. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys those. If you ever see those placards, stay away. Like, you're going to say, oh, you're just saying that, TK, so you go buy them. I would never, ever, 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 ever buy a used vehicle from Uber. Especially a wrecked one. <laughs> Here's something you don't see every day. This is like some kind of aftermarket train train horn or you know not a train horn but an aftermarket horn i bet you it's loud oh look there's another one on this one too this is that other uber vehicle that smashed and it's got a light it had an led light bar in it it's got wires coming from everything going to the battery look at this shit this is some some crazy craziness here man i don't get it man i don't get that at all which brings me to the last one on my list this body style of the X5 is my favorite of all time. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, if you look back, you'll see that we bought, um, yeah, I think I was just squishing on the mic. Um, you'll see that we bought one of these for like 800 bucks uh, in New Jersey at Copart. And then we drove it into New York City. So we drove this thing to New York City and then drove it all the way back to Florida. And I took it down to Miami where... Florida's inspection process can be a pain in the ass. I'm going to be honest. It's not the easiest. It's not like some states you can literally just bring a title and they'll, re and they'll just list it as rebuilt for you. But uh, Florida is not one of those states. So anyways, this is going to be the last one on the list today. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, the primary damage looks to be right here in the door. Now, you can see the, the, the foot rests or the foot rails on the outside are gone. Now, I do wonder... She does have some power, so let's see if it'll unlock the other doors. There we go. Door opens with no problem. Oh, yeah. That's what totaled it right there. Damn, but you know what, though? As a personal vehicle, I wouldn't give two shits about that. I would literally fill that with body filler. You know what I'm saying? Pull this out, fill it with body filler, replace this door. You know, replace this door and keep it moving. I mean, yeah, that's exactly. And look, all the panels you need. Here's your back bumper, right? Which I don't see. I don't see a ton of damage to this rear bumper. I think they just took it off to get to the side stuff. There's your side foot rail. You can see back there where the hit came in under it. But I bet you that could probably be reused, right? There's your fender cover, which goes right there. You know what? This thing will go back together fairly easily. Like I can see the trim piece, I mean the thing missing. 
I mean, oh, it's got soft closed doors. Look at this. Look, look, look. This is, an, this is a nicer version of the X5. Mine did not have soft closed doors. It did not. I'll give you guys a wider look there. All right, let's see if the back door opens and closes like it's supposed to. It's not opening, but hey, whatever. Okay. It opens. Looks good to me. Tailgate looks good. Let's see if it closes. Yeah. All right, this one might be... I might throw all the marbles at this one. I, I've been looking for one of these for myself for a long time, guys. I really have. And this one right here is really nice. Let me get in here. And I bet you it's probably got... Transmission and much more can be... Radio. Oh, it's got the updated iDrive, so... All right, it doesn't have the older one. What is that? It's got two different co-part numbers on it. Okay, key is in it. Fired right up, look at that. 141,000 miles on it is original. Brake pads need to be replaced? Well, yeah, probably. I'm sure the sensor probably got knocked loose, you know? But hey! She got brakes? She does have brakes. Let's see if she go. Look, somebody, oh, somebody's wrong for that. <laughs> BMW people will know why I'm laughing. This is for i vehicles. Like uh, like an i3 has this ring in here or the i8. <laughs> somebody glued this in. This did not come this way. That's hilarious. All right, reverse. It works. Backup camera works. PDC malfunction. Okay. So this thing can park itself too, huh? Okay. Nice. I didn't think they had that on this model. It's in drive. Goes into gear. All right. Now I got a check engine light. That wasn't there before. It's a 3.5. It's basically what replaced the 3.0. This thing is in really nice shape in the interior. Big giant panoramic roof. And it works. I'm interested. I bet the house on this one. You are out of gas, out of gas, huh? Sounds good. Let's take a look at the motor, shall we? <clears throat> I'm interested. I'm very, very, very very interested. <laughs> Twin power turbo. The motor looks a little dirty. I don't see a lot of oil leak down on the sides. Stuff you would normally see on these cars. She looks really good. She looks really, really good. All right, I'm sold. I will bet the house on this one. Bet You can bet your ass on that. You guys will not be seeing this until after the auction. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I'll show you cars early if I'm not really super interested in them. I'm super interested in this one. This would be, I like, I would put the Mambo away. Like, I wouldn't even drive the Mambo. This would be my daily driver. I love this X5. This is the E70. This is like my favorite, favorite, favorite. Outside of the E39 M5, this is probably my second favorite BMW, hands down, period. Oh, man. Look at this thing. She's so pretty, man. I just see so much potential from this truck. Looks good. A little bit of oil in there. Looks a little thick. It's not horrible, though, man. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to bet the house on this one, guys. Yeah, I'm interested. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and then I can let you know live if we want it or not. But I am I'm want this. I want it. I want it. Yeah, I want it. Man, look, and you can tell. See, some of these things worry me, and it's a student that had it. You can see how the corners are bald right there. You see that? That tells you a lot about somebody that owns a vehicle. They didn't take care of it. 
they didn't take care of the tires and stuff, which means I'm sure they didn't take care of the oil and it's probably why it needs brake pads because the sensors are probably worn down all the way to the metal. Wouldn't surprise me. But these things are tough as shit, man. They're just tough. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm down, man. This right here, this could be my new new. Anybody interested in a big giant bottle of piss? <laughs> That's going to do it for today's Copart walk around. I hopefully it was long enough for you guys today. Hopefully you guys got to see some cool vehicles. And unfortunately, I have to get out of here because the tow truck has finally arrived and I need to get my Jeep back to the house that we picked up from here. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And uh, I look forward to catching you guys on the next one. Peace. Finish him. Perfect.